In this section, we're gonna learn how to implement authentication with Microsoft Teams tabs. So we're gonna look at authentication and tabs. We're gonna look at the OAuth2 implicit grant flow. We're gonna look at the interactive authentication uh, using a pop-up, how to handle silent authentication, and then we'll touch on single sign-on uh, towards the end. Custom applications that you build as custom tabs for Microsoft Teams might need to access protected resources. And many of these resources, such as secured HTTP APIs, require that users authenticate and provide an OAuth2 access token when they submit their request. Microsoft Teams has built-in support for enabling these applications, but the entire authentication process and flow is your responsibility to implement in the web applications used to implement the custom tabs. OAuth2 is an open standard for authentication and authorization that is used by Azure Active Directory and many other identity providers. Microsoft Teams tabs can use OAuth2's implicit grant flow so that users can authenticate and access these protected resources. One thing to keep in mind when you build custom tabs that require the user to be authenticated is don't assume that the current user in Microsoft Teams is the authenticated user that you get in the tab. The Microsoft Teams context can provide information about the current user, such as context hints, like the current user's ID, but your tab shouldn't treat that as proof of identity. Because recall that a custom tab is just an iframe that displays the contents of a web application. Your web app can use placeholder values added to the URL by Microsoft Teams, such as the current user's profile name, also known as the user profile name or UPN. And then a malicious user could send someone a URL that loads your web app with another user's profile in the URL with the goal of obtaining another user's information. You should never treat this information as proof of identity of the current user. Instead, use it as, the single, as a sign-in hint when the user is prompted to sign in. Azure Active Directory and many other identity providers don't allow their sign-in experiences to be hosted in an iframe. Because all tabs in Microsoft Teams are in iframes, you'll implement a pop-up window pattern to start the authentication process. This pop-up window should be started only by a user interaction. It shouldn't open automatically. Pop-up windows that open automatically are likely to trigger the browser's pop-up blocker and confuse the user experience. You should create a button within the tabs configuration or the content page that starts the authentication process. The basic understanding of an OAuth2 implicit grant flow is a prerequisite for working with authentication in Microsoft Teams tabs. This UML sequence that you see here on the slide documents the entire process. Now it starts with the user interacting with the content on the tab configuration or the content page. Typically, they use a button to start the sign-in process. The tab builds the URL for its authentication start page, optionally by using information from URL placeholders or by calling Microsoft Teams.getContext. This Microsoft Teams JavaScript SDK method streamlines the authentication experience for the user. For example, when authenticating with Azure Active Directory, if the login hint parameter is set to the user's email address, the user might not even have to sign in if they've done so recently. They might not have to sign in because Azure Active Directory uses the user's cached credentials if possible. And in this scenario, the pop-up window flashes briefly and then it disappears. The tab is then going to call Microsoft Teams.Authentication.Authenticate. That method is then going to also register a success and a failure callback function. Microsoft Teams opens a start page in an iframe in a pop-up window. The start page generates random state data and saves it for future validation. The start page then redirects to the identity provider's authorized endpoint, such as HTTPS.Login.MicrosoftOnline.com for Azure Active Directory. Like other application auth flows in Microsoft Teams, the start page must be on a domain that is in its valid domains list and on the same domain as this post sign-in redirect page. The user on the identity provider's site signs in and grants access to the required permissions defined in the application's configuration to the custom tab. The identity provider redirects the user to the tab's OAuth2 redirect page with an access token. The tab checks that the return state value matches what was saved earlier, and the tab calls Microsoft Teams.Authentication.Notify success, which in turn calls the success callback function that's been registered in the initial step setup of this flow. Microsoft Teams then closes the pop-up window and the tab either displays the configuration UI 
or refreshes and reloads the tab's content based on where the user started. Before you implement authentication